All right, so I just got back from a range uh, visit and I took out three 1911s. I took out my nine millimeter approver point. Um, we'll talk about that in a second. It is clear, by the way, it's dirty. Um, and I still need to do a, a count of ammo that I shot because I keep track of all of that. Um, we also took out the 22 TCM. This is also clear and it is dirty. Put that next next to the 9mm and then we shot the 10mm. And I always have a problem with the stiffness of this uh, recoil spring. And that is clear. You don't see any brass. Nothing in the Magwell. Let's move this keyboard out of the way. Move these headphones. I really need to clean this area because it's so fucking cluttered. It just bugs me. Um, excuse my French. But anyways, let's move this mouse. We're going to need it probably later. Um, so, I shot all three of these guns today. And there's a reason why. I know they're, they're, they're all... Rock out and armories, um, but they're different calibers. One's a full size, the other two are uh, mid size and single stack. The other one is a double stack. So, so there are some minor differences. The heft on that uh, full size is it's almost three pounds. Uh, but anyways, uh, the reason why I decided on a range visit. Let's put these mags next to these guns here. It's because mainly because of this. So I have another video that I haven't even posted yet. Uh, I'll be posting it soon. Um, but it talks about how uh, I found magazines for this double stack. 10 millimeter 1911 um, so arms core doesn't have them in stock uh, they haven't had them in stock for close to two months um, I don't know when they're gonna be restocked but I wanted more than just one magazine for range purposes so I did some searching and spoke to some folks on Facebook uh, in the respective 1911 groups that had this gun and I found that the gun will take Remington R1 mags. So the Remington R1 is a double stacked 1911, uh, but it is a 45 ACP. So these mags are designed for 45 ACP. So I did some testing the day that I got them, I think it was two days ago, and uh, determined a couple of things. So the first thing I tested was would this latch into the gun? Would both of them latch into the gun? So this one latched without issue. It was rather tight, uh, but now it slides in without any effort whatsoever. One finger. Before I had to slam it in. So it's, uh, there must have been some wear or some break in or something. Uh, I don't see any wear on the uh, mag itself. I'm not sure if there's. I don't know. It adjusted. Um, so I took the other one out of the box and tried the same thing, and it would not latch. So I kind of looked at it for a bit and kind of studied how where it was latching at. So this is, I guess, this is designed to latch on either side, depending on where you put the the uh, magazine release button. So uh, it's on the right hand side, which means it's going to release on the left. So here. So from my understanding, there was there wasn't enough clearance on this uh, this notch here on the top portion. You see an edge. So you see a square, right? You see a bottom ledge here, down here, and a top ledge up here. I ground just a tad with a Dremel tool. 
uh, a t just a touch off of that top edge and you can see you can see it's not perfect you can tell that I ground on it because there's some uh, some finish missing but uh I took off just enough to get the magazine to latch without issue so this one has a little bit more just a, it seems like it has a little bit more play and I did not take off a lot I, I mean I, I really took off just a, a very a very small amount but and I'm, and I'm mentioning that because uh, I, I I took these to the range today to test them so I did two tests so the day that I got them I not only ground on this one to get it to, to latch in place properly um, I actually filled each one up to as much as I could uh, so with 45 ACP because remember these are designed for 45 ACP uh, 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 Remingtons um, I believe uh, the mag capacity for these are 16 I believe it was 16 marked as 16 on the package uh, so 16 rounds of 45 ACP uh, I loaded up 16 the day that I got them and then I decided well it's a smaller round let me see if I can fit any more than 16 in there I was able to fit 18 so two more um, so when I went to the range I tested both of these I first tested I believe it was the one that I I, I ground on and uh, the plan was to test test them twice uh, one once with 16 rounds and one with 18 rounds but then I decided well I can do this in one shot if I just start with 18 rounds if they'll shoot 18 rounds without feed issues or anything like that they'll shoot 16 so uh, I started off and this one had I think one round where it kind of it didn't feed properly the first go around this one and, and that was that's with 18 so uh, I believe it did it on the uh, so it did it, it it actually did it twice the first time it did it <clears throat> it it had a hard time feeding with 18 so I took out I took out one so there was 17 in there uh, and then I shot four rounds before it I uh, had a, a feed issue um, and then it finished the rest um, so that's that's with this mag so with this mag um, there were no uh, it, it I was able to get through all of the the rounds and so I took out I took out two so it was 16 so I don't know if this will function with 18 or not but I will plan to just put 16 in each mag um, and then after that I had a couple of uh, I had a couple of rounds of ammo and decided to just uh, um, I'm getting distracted here because of my wife upstairs um, decided to since I had an issue with this gun I decided to use the rest of the ammo to uh, to test this mag and uh, I could not get through a full mag without having an issue I, I would have one to two issues per and uh, so I'm not sure if it's a cutout here um, that that I that I altered um, but I had to alter it in order to get it to latch and again I took just a very tad off I just kind of hit it with the drum I said Ugh. Ugh. I hit it twice and then test fitted it and it latched so uh, I'm not sure what the issue is. I'm not sure if there's a break in. Um, hold on a second here. I got this big gash on my finger. Hold on. Uh, let me pause the video. I was hoping to get this in one take. Oh. 
Are we going again? Yes, we are. So let me see if I can get this to clot, and we'll talk while me while I'm messing with this. Um, so we'll continue. We we I, I need to mark these. Well, I don't even really need to mark them. I already know that it's this one because this is the one I messed with. But I can mark it, and kind of that'll let me know. Okay, well, I can. Both of them are just all three of these. This gun is a range gun, so all three of these mags, I mean, uh, I would like for them to be dependable, but I'm only using them at the range, so, um, so there is that. So, a couple of other things I didn't cover in another video, um, so this is the OEM mag. This is the, uh. The Remington one, look at the base plates. So, my question is, you know, because I don't really like the way this looks, kind of protrudes a bit. And again, it's a range gun, so it doesn't matter how it looks, but this is almost flush. So, my question was, <clears throat> can I buy a couple of these? And no, they're not in stock. I already looked. So I'll wait until they're in stock and I'll buy some because I took this one off and took this one off and tried to see if this one would fit on this magazine and it will. So I can buy two more of these so that I can replace the base plates for this. Um, so there is that. Um, another thing is someone mentioned when putting the rounds in the gun that the Remington ones would probably cause feed issues in the 10 millimeter because it was designed for 45 ACP and uh, what what he did was he took a picture of uh, 10 millimeter round here a 10 millimeter round here and you could see in the Remington uh, magazine that the with the, the 10 millimeter in the gun you could see that it was sitting higher. In fact, let, let me show you. Yeah, I have a couple of more. I ended up shooting 50 or so rounds of 10 millimeter. The range still doesn't have any, so I'm glad I bought a few, but I'm, I'm eating into my supply. I think I, I bought uh, 200 rounds. So I only have 100 rounds left. So as you can see, so this is the the R1 magazine. This is the OEM magazine, um, and they both had 10 millimeter rounds in them. So he said that because this is sitting high, uh, I should see feed issues. Um, so that's that wasn't the case, and I don't understand why you would see feed issues with this being so high. If anything, it would it would kind of I mean, just seeing how much that this slide has to work with there, you would think that that wouldn't be an issue. Uh, so again, I had issues with one mag, but not the other. They're designed the same, so um, I'm not sure he was correct in that assumption. Um, but anyways, uh, those are, that's the reason why I took those mags to the, to the range. So, um, uh, was I success, successful in testing? Um, kinda and kinda not. I would say yes. Um, the only reason I, I really think I'm having issues with that other mag is because for some reason it doesn't like the fact that I ground it the way it did. I'm not sure if I need to clean that up. Maybe it's hanging up because it, it's not. So let me see here. Not sure if I can get this on the camera. So I ground that top lip here. The bottom one I didn't, but I must have touched it up a bit. So I don't think this bottom latch is going to matter. It's this top one that is engaging the, the latch inside the mag well. Uh, but um, because of the disc I was using, it's there's uh, it actually dug a little bit into where is it at? 
this edge right here on damn it right there so right there so it's it's not clean so I suppose I can take a file to make sure it's not snagging right there um, but another thing I think I might not have mentioned in the other video is these were relatively cheap compared to the arms core ones the arms core ones are 44 oh, 45 bucks a piece uh, these were 35 so uh, I was gonna order some more but maybe not if I'm having issues with with, with one of them but uh, it's it's hit or miss I mean I could always give this to someone else or sell it or just put it off on the side and buy another one my GoPro was still running from the range um, so at least we now have three mags to work with right um, so we fired maybe 50 rounds let me see if I can get my uh, so it got it got ripped but there is a gigantic hole here so this is what my 50 rounds look like majority of the time I was hitting here um, the closest I got to the to the the bullseye was here in this grouping uh, so this this group here I was trying to hit that bullseye so I'm still pulling my shots and I'm, I'm thinking it's the sights and I'll show I'll tell you why in a minute um, and as you can see here where I have it marked these three were supposed to be for that um, so so I, I think the sights are kind of off um, at least one of these belong to here when I was trying to shoot as well I think it's that one um, so I'd still need to I thought that I still needed to work on my fundamentals but I remember telling you guys this a, a while ago this particular gun the 9 millimeter single stack variant is pretty much dialed in look at that group that's a whole lot different than what I just showed you so this tells me I need to so it they're pretty much centered I just need to work the sides and move them up a bit I cheated on this one because I used windage I, I just rose up the the side I was aim, aiming here when uh when I hit that bullseye so that's from the nine millimeter that's seven yards that's 20 rounds um, I did not miss I mean this is a this is a flyer but it it's actually breaking the edge of that black so I'm I'm including that as a as a hit um, that's not really what I was aiming for I was aiming for the red so I can adjust for that and in fact all three of these have the same sights so I can use these targets here to kind of make some sight adjustments so I know I need to move this up a couple of clicks um, with this one this is the 22 TCM one this is a uh, 25 to 30 rounds um, seven yards and it looks like some of those are keyholes I've been having a problem with keyholing I don't know why some of them aren't um, but the elevation on the sights for this gun I think they're sound and a lot of these were quick uh, quick shots as well so um, just back to back bang 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 um, there's uh, there was also an issue with the gun uh, and I explained we'll talk about that in a second uh, which is why this looks scattered out some of these are off paper um, some of these are cutting along the edge here but uh, 
there was an issue with the gun. Uh, in fact, there was an issue with the ammo. And we'll talk about that in a second. But uh, I can use this to maybe make some adjustments to bring that over that way. And what I'll do with this one is make adjustments to bring the sides up and to the right. I'll be a tad. First shot was that one. So I'm using the same fundamentals for each gun. So that tells me, I mean, I'm not sure why these, you know, I don't know why. But as I get the gun dialed in, I'll be able to, it'll be easier for me to kind of work on my fundamentals. Um, so, so we'll work on that over time. Um, so 20 rounds, 30 rounds, so that's 50. So we shot maybe 100 rounds between all three guns. Um, so what I wanted to talk about was the 22 TCM and the problems I had. So I have one magazine and what I've, what I've been trying to do is I've been trying to shoot up all of my 22 TCM ammo because I also have 9R and I want to start using 9R with this gun um, which means I won't be able to use this mag with it. This mag is for 22 TCM overall link between 22 TCM and 9R uh, yeah, there, there's a difference. So I can't use 9R with this magazine, but I can use 9R with 9mm magazines, such as this one for that 9mm there. I also have uh, three other Wilson Combat 9mm mags, so I can use this mag and those other three 9mm mags with 9R. Uh, so I took, I think I have a couple of more in my bedroom maybe two or three more boxes of 22 TCM but I got lazy today and decided just to use what was here I had a half a box in my uh, cabinet here of 22 TCM now I should have either thrown that away or left it at the range or given it to someone or whatnot but uh so there was 25 rounds in there I forgot that I had put that aside because I had a primer blowout of this gun maybe four years ago and I could not get the brass out of the chamber. I had to break it down and I had to use a wooden dowel to get it out. Uh, and the reason I'm mentioning this is because half of those, those, those 25 to 30 rounds, I was having the same issue. They were getting stuck in the chamber. Uh, so. It was the same lot. It was, in fact, the same damn box. I, I fired half of it, and then when I had the primer, and I think I still have the... Yep, I sure do. This is the one. This is the one that was stuck in the... Uh, you can see uh, daylight or my, my t-shirt back there. This was stuck in the gun. So I kept it. And... Uh, I kept wondering, I was like, why am I having like these feed issues with this ammo? And uh, I had had the ammo in a box like this. So that brass with the blown out primer was in the box. So my brass was in here like this. And uh, I was pulling them out without pulling out the whole thing. When I got toward the end, I saw this and I was like, oh shit. I was like, that's the reason why I was having issues with this whole box is because this this box, I had an issue with it. Um, so a bunch of these had issues where I had to, they were getting, they were stuck in the chamber and I had to kind of, I, I, I would clear the, you know, I would take the mag out and I would look in there and I would see a brass still stuck in there. And so what I would do is I would do this and I would, I would let it let the uh, extractor grab it and, but then it wouldn't let me rack back and so what I had to do was you know I kept struggling and it wouldn't it wouldn't even move so I, I would grab the slide like this and I would just pop and you know I would push it forward and it would knock the, the brass out 
So I had to do that in some cases three or four times. And at one point, one was so stuck in there that I stopped what I was doing and I was about to break the gun down and just switch to the nine millimeter barrel because this comes with two barrels. Um, and then I, I just happened to try it one last time and it popped out. So uh, I wouldn't have had this problem if I would have brought the 9R. Uh, but um, I have footage of everything. I made sure that I got GoPro footage and I got a good bit of it. And uh, I got some of the problems happening with this gun. So you would see it um, kind of lock up and the gum would like kind of be jammed. And what, what will be happening is, is like, the slide will be it, the slide will be sort of like this. And it would look sort of like this when I'm behind it, right? And so I would drop what I'm doing, and I would drop this, I would open up the slide a little bit more, and I would see that the round that's in the magazine that was stripped was trying to go in the chamber, but the brass was stuck in the chamber, so it was like... They were kissing each other like this. And I'm like, what the fuck? Why does it keep doing that? Um, I di it didn't dawn on me that these were getting stuck. Probably because they were too hot. Um, so, and, and that's been an issue sometimes with uh, arm score. And, and the reason why they're, I guess, uh, why they were getting stuck is because when you have hot ammo, uh, getting hot beyond a, uh, I guess what it's supposed to be what it's doing is it it's it's expanding the case and it's kind of locking against the chamber walls and so when it's time to, for it to be extracted it's in there so tight that the claw just slip, slips off and you you can see along the edge here there's a it's chewed up because uh the uh, extractor kept slipping off and in fact all of these are like that and if I roll these around you could see that some of them are kind of that one's bowed so this one is bowed so uh, I, if I would have known that I wouldn't have shot this because that that's kind of a little bit dangerous um, but I'll, I'll see if I can uh, include footage of that I'm probably not going to roll it into this I might take the time to kind of attach it to the end so that everyone can see or our reference within the description of the video the link to the to the video you know I'll post the video in a different you know separately and then link put a put the link of that video in the uh, description so um anyways uh I mean I, I shot a decent amount and I'm, I'm kind of happy because I I was always thinking that these guns I, I just didn't I was having issues with them because I was having a hard time wrapping my head around the, you know shooting 1911s up you know I'm like I, I think I'm doing everything right you know but I kind of negated that thought when I picked up the nine millimeter one and kind of every one of those hit they, they hit low but uh they were tightly grouped together that's actually pretty tight for for 20 rounds at seven yards in my opinion with the exception of this flyer here um so uh i was happy with that and remember the one in the red doesn't count because i kind of i used windage right um so those that grouping between my two fingers there that that's actually pretty decent and i'm using the same fundamentals across all three um that just tells me that this gun's sights are more dialed in so i need to kind of play with these and maybe go to maybe i'll go to the range tomorrow with with this uh, 22 tcm and work it out if i work this one out i'll know exactly what to do with the uh with this one and i kind of know what to do i just need to bring some tools with me and allow for some time to make adjustments and and test my adjustments so um we're all done here. Um, I need to try and find some more 10 millimeter ammo. I've got a box of this and a box of, well, I've got, this is 50, 
and I got another box of ammo ink in my range bag but that's it um, so I mean I'm putting in the ammo to good use but uh I need to figure out how to get more um, I have two gift cards two fifty dollar gift cards for Cabela's we have a Cabela's down maybe 10 minutes away from here uh, down the street um, but I'd probably need to get up early in the morning and make sure that uh, I get there in time to see if I can catch some uh, some ammo and I'll be looking for 10 millimeter if not I'll just order some online uh, I'm trying to think if, there's, if I missed anything I do believe we covered everything we're at a 30 minute mark we're doing good and that is it all right have a good weekend i'll post this video i'll post the range footage right behind it and then i'll post a video specifically talking about these two remington r1 mags for the high capacity full size 1911 that arms core has all right bye bye